Hello and welcome to STEM Club. In this week's video, we've got some brilliant activities all about space. You might think space is quite hard to study because it's so big and so far away, but these are some really fun practical experiments for you to do at home. What you'll need for this week's experiment is some balls, some fabric, a round dish or tray, and some clips. I've also got something heavy. The first thing we're going to do with our fabric is cover our tray with it and then peg it down. So I'm going to cover my tray with my fabric. So if you've got a hoop or just something round, maybe a hula hoop or an embroidery hoop, and then I'm going to peg out my fabric just like the darkness of space. Okay, so now we've got a nice tight circle just like space. Then, this is really simple, what you can do is just roll a ball across your fabric and see what happens. And it just goes in a nice straight line. So if things are flying through space, they tend to just go in a straight line. However, in space there are all sorts of massive objects. We've got our Earth, but we've also got the Moon, there's asteroids, there's the Sun. And they form anything with mass has gravity around it. So if we put a heavy object, so I'm using this glass orb because it's very heavy, into our universe of space. And now watch what happens to our ball when we drop it through our space. <laughs> so you can see it curves around. If we drop it, it curves around our object and you can actually that's just like how gravity works so as it gets nearer the planet there's more gravity and it will pull our ball in towards it so you can have a great fun with this moving your objects around and watch so when it's a bit further away from it the gravity is not affecting it as much this is a really fun experiment to look at how gravity on planets affects other objects that might be flying near them so if you imagine this is the earth and you've got a meteor flying near it. Put it over there. Yeah, that's a bit heavy. You can see how the path changes, whereas without the object there, it will just go in a straight line. So gravity is affecting the path of the object. We can even put it in the middle. You might even, if you push it right, be able to get your ball into orbit. So when it goes in orbit, it'll go around and around and around, and eventually it's getting pulled in by the gravity. So this is a really, really fun experiment for you to try out at home. I could do this all day. In an experiment, you always want to change something. So you could try bigger balls, so roll those around and see how they are affected. So you could try changing the ball you're rolling. You could try changing the object you put in, so trying a lighter ball or a heavier ball. And you could try changing where you put it on your space as well and seeing what happens then, seeing how much the balls are affected by the gravity. So this is a really fun way of showing gravity and how all of our planets around us affect that. You could have a go at even drawing the paths your balls are making. Um, maybe even do this with some white fabric and then you could put paint on your balls and actually make an artistic interpretation of the gravity fields around planets. There is so much you can do. So have lots of fun with this fun experiment. Our second experiment is really, really simple and is really fun and is showing what goes on inside stars. So in a star, there are big burning balls of gas and what's happening is lots of small elements like hydrogen, helium bind together to make bigger elements like iron. And eventually it runs out of fuel so the star explodes in what's called a supernova. And those bigger elements go flying out and hit the smaller elements which fly off into space. Now if you want to try this out at home I suggest you wear goggles because it can be a bit dangerous and also don't use your favourite bouncy ball because you might lose it. So all you've got to do is get a selection of balls. So imagine this is a heavy element inside a star and this is a lighter element on the outside of a star and so what I'm going to do is drop them together so I'm putting one ball on top of the other and then I'm going to drop them so when I drop them they're going to bounce and then that's like the star exploding so the bottom ball is going to go flying up and then it's going to pass its energy onto the smaller ball like the smaller elements on the outside of the star and that's going to go flying off into space so I'm just going to drop it a little bit and you can watch and see what happens oh!
happens. Oh! As I said, don't use your favourite bouncy ball. And I only dropped it a little bit. So if I watch, if I drop this without the ball underneath, it only bounces a little bit. However, if I put a tennis ball underneath, it bounces. Oh! A lot. Oh no, where did that go? Now, as a scientist, you want to change something. So now we've made an observation. You want to change something and measure it. So you could actually try and maybe use your phone or your camera to see how high your ball bounces. You could also try changing the balls you drop. So what happens if you use a ping pong ball, for example, instead of a bouncy ball or a tennis ball? You could even see what happens if you use three balls. So I've stacked up my three balls together and I'm just gonna give them the smallest bounce and see how well that works. Oh! Oh! This works. Oh! I would highly advise you do this experiment outside in somewhere where there's a big space as well. So try it yourself, have a go and have lots of fun with your science. Thank you so much for joining me as we have looked at some exciting space experiments for you to try at home. Do let us know how you get on in our Facebook group. You can find the link to share your results below and we look forward to seeing you again soon for more STEM fun. Oh! <laughs>